friends and welcome to Glitter Foot Circle Time. My name is Nina, who's having a crazy hair day today. That's okay, because I'm loving the crazy hair day. And the, my pronouns are she and her. And today we have another beautiful story that talks about our family, the celebration of our family that we're going to be reading together. But before we start, we are going to start off with our acknowledgement. Do you remember where the 519 is? You're right, it is in church in Wellesley. Do you remember what city the 519 is? 519 is in the land of the Toronto, which is a Mohawk word for what we know as Toronto today. So I'll be doing the Toronto's land acknowledgement, followed by our African ancestral acknowledgement as well. So if you see me looking this way, it's because I can't really pronounce the words properly but every day I am learning to correct myself, to pronouncing these words correctly. And so that way I can teach you all and we could say them together the right way. We acknowledge the land that we are meeting on is the traditional territory of the many nations, including the Mississaugas, of the Credit, the Anishabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. We also acknowledge that Toronto, the Toronto, is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. But we also like to acknowledge that not all people came to this land as migrants and settlers. Specifically, I wish, we wish to acknowledge those of us who came here involuntarily, particularly brought to this land as a result of the transatlantic slave trade and slavery. We pay tribute to those ancestors of African origin and descent. Though I'm not a person of African descent, I am committed to continually acting in and support of and in solidarity with black communities, seeking freedom and reparative justice in the light of the history and ongoing legacy of slavery that continues to impact our black communities in Canada. Again, I invite you all, our little friends, our grown-ups, even your, your pets, to join me in that work to hold us accountable to this commitment. So friends, Always, always remember to be thankful, to be kind, to be loving, to be caring for our land and for everyone else on this land as well and who we share this land with. So, again, thank you for holding that space, for listening in, and for continually trying to learn alongside with me as well as we take it into mind, into heart, and into soul the great reconciliation and to be a part of reparative justice for our black communities in Canada as well. So let's go on to saying hello to our friends, to our neighbors, to our land. And let's take out our hand and wave them like this. And do you remember who we usually sing our hello song with? Mm -hmm. Our friend Kala. Kala is a ukulele, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Kala is a ukulele, and Kala likes to use the pronouns they, them, or they use all of the pronouns, but today they're filling the they, them pronouns. And we usually sing our hello song and other songs with Kala. So today, we're going to be singing our hello song with Kala. Are you ready, Kala? Are you ready, friends? Let's take our hands and wave them like this. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? And how are you? Hello, everybody, how are you? How are you today? Come on, everybody, and clap your hands, clap your hands, and clap your hands. Come on, everybody, and clap your hands, clap your hands today. Good singing, everybody. Now let's wiggle those fingers of ours, or our hands, or our arms, and let's wiggle them up high into the sky. 
shake 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 and look at them down low to the ground shake 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 and all around why can we find where our head is can we find where our eyes are at because we're going to need them to read the story along with Ninia our ears to listen along our nose and then our mouth now we're going to use our nose and our mouth but we use them every day to breathe but today we're going to use them to take a deep breath in through our nose take a deep breath out through our mouth should we give it a try let's all take a deep breath in through our nose and take a deep breath out through our mouth let's do that one more time let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth For our grown-ups, what you can also do with your little ones is pretend that they're blowing a candle. So depending how many candles you want, that's how many breath in and breath out that we're going to be doing. So we've been doing two breaths. Perhaps you want to do three candles. So that's three breathing in and three breathing out and so on and so forth. And it always helps to help them regulate their emotions. It's also helpful for adults to go from up here all the way back there as well. So. That's just my little side note right there. I have a story for us to read. And it is called, A Family is a Family, a Family. And it's written by Sarah O'Leary and illustrated by Quinn Lang. Let's look at the picture and let's see what our families are doing. What do we see? I think I see some of our friends are climbing up the ladder and we have one friend all the way down here supporting the ladder so that way our friends up here won't fall. I also see some of our friends are helping each other out to untangle, is that a rope, a string perhaps? Lots of helping hands. A family is a family is a family. We were talking about families at school. The teacher asked us what we thought made our family special. I went last because I wasn't sure what to say. My family is not like everyone else. My mom and dad have been best friends since first grade. They really like each other. It's kind of gross. There are lots of kids in our family Mom and Dad just keep coming home with more. Both my moms are terrible singers and they both like to sing really loud. more grandparents than anybody else I know. We have a new baby in our house. I think my mom ordered him online. alike in my family. We just kind of go together. One week mom gets me, the next week dad does. Fair spare. fair. People 
people say I look like my dad and some people say I look like my mom. I think I look like myself. My mom says that before I was born, I grew in her heart. Because I live with my grandmother, people sometimes think she's my mother. She's not. She's my everything. the kids were dads when he met mom. Some were moms when she met dad. Now we all belong to each other. One of my dad is tall and one is short. They both give good hugs. listen to everybody else and then I remembered the time someone saw us all together at the park. She asked my foster mother to point out her real children. Oh, I don't have any imaginary children, mom said. All my children are real. A family is a family is a family. And the end. And that's a story. A family is a, is a family is a family. Written by Sarah O'Leary and illustrated by Queen Lang. So, what do you like to do with your family? Do you like to go for a bike ride? Oh, first page. <laughs> or do you like to... Uh, maybe sing along as well? What do you like to do with your family? My family and I, we like to go for a walk. Out in nature, out in the park. When the, when the weather is beautiful. And when it's not so beautiful, we like to stay in and watch some movies, have a nice bowl of popcorn, and just spend time with each other. Well, friends, thanks for listening along. I hope you enjoy that story. Remember, we are open in person at the 519. So bring along your family and learn and grow and play with us. We're open from Tuesday to Saturday from 10 to 1.30 p.m. We're also offering our virtual programming on Wednesdays, so our Rhythm and Rhyme for Mandarin Cantonese, and our African Diaspora and Vision Storytelling in the evening. So, and you can also still catch us on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Zoom. And don't forget to email us at glitterbook at the 519.org if you have any further questions about our programming and or services that we offer. But without further ado, we can say goodbye for now, and we'll see you next time on our story time. All right, friends. Story time, it's over, it's over, it's over. Story time, it's over, it's time to go and play or read one more book. All right, friends. Thank you. We'll see you next time.